Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on what is recurrence relation and what are the examples of recurrence relation that we are discussed in this video. Before going to the definition of recurrence relation, first I am explaining the example. After that, we can go for the definition. Okay. Now, so this is the example of a recurrence relation. So this example is Fibonacci sequence recurrence relation. So this is the Fibonacci sequence recurrence relation f sub x n is equal to f sub x n minus 1 plus f sub x n minus 2. So this recurrence relation is called as Fibonacci sequence recurrence relation with initial conditions f0 is equal to 0, f1 is equal to 1. Initial conditions are nothing but initial terms in the Fibonacci sequence. That means the first term in the Fibonacci sequence is 0. The next term in the Fibonacci sequence is 1. Okay. The first two terms in the Fibonacci sequence is denoted by F0 is equal to 0, F1 is equal to 1. These initial conditions are given in the problem. Okay. Now, how we are finding out the next terms in the Fibonacci sequence? The next terms in the Fibonacci sequence can be defined recursively as a function of the previous terms. Okay. For example, here, after initial conditions F0 and F1 are given, the next term is F2. F2 can be defined as a function of the previous terms. Previous terms means F2 previous term is F1 and F1 previous term is F0. Okay. Now, we are already know that F1 value is a 1 and F0 value is a 0. So, 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. Okay. The next term in the Fibonacci sequence is F2. Its value is equal to 1. How we are uh, F2 is equal to F1 plus F0? How we are writing by using this recurrence relation? So, n value is equal to 2. That means F2. F2 is equal to n value is 2 is substituted in that equation. So, 2 minus 1. That is F1 plus 2 minus 2. That is 0. That is F0. F1 plus F0. F1 value is 1. And F0 value is 0. 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. Okay. The next term in the Fibonacci sequence is F3. F3 can be defined as a function of the previous terms that is F2 and F1. Here we are taking only two previous terms because it is a second order linear recurrence relation. Okay. The next term in the sequence as a function of two previous terms. So F2 the next term F2 depends on as a function of two previous terms by using this recurrence relation F1 plus F0 that is equal to 1. Next F3. So F3 is nothing but n is equal to 3. Substitute n is equal to 3 in the recurrence relation. F3 is equal to here n value is 3. 3 minus 1 that is F2 plus 3 minus 2, that is a F1. So, we are already know that F2 value is a 1 and a F1 value is a 1. So, that is 1 plus 1, that is equal to 2. Okay. Next. Next term in the sequence is F4. F4 can be defined as a function of the two previous terms, that is a F3 and F2. So, for the term F4, 
the previous terms, the previous two terms are F3 and F2. So we are already know that F3 value. So F3 value is 2, F2 value is uh, 1. 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3. Here n is equal to 4 is uh, substituted in this equation. Then we are getting the two previous terms. So 4 minus 1 that is F3. 4 minus 2 that is F2. So F3 plus F2. F3 value is a 2 and F2 value is 1. 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3. Okay. The next term in the sequence is F5 where n is equal to 5. Substituted n is equal to 5 in the sequence. F5 is equal to so F n minus 1 where n is equal to 5. 5 minus 1 that is a 4. So F4 plus 5 minus 2 that is a F3. So F4 plus F3. F4 value is a 3. F3 value is a 2. 3 plus 2 that is equal to 5. Okay. The next term in the sequence is F6 where n is equal to 6. So substitute n is equal to 6. F6 is equal to 6 minus 1 that is F5 plus 6 minus 2 that is F4. F5 plus F4. F5 value is 5 and F4 value is 3. 5 plus 3 that is equal to 8. Next. F, next term in the sequence is F7 where n is equal to 7. Substituted n is equal to 7 in the above recurrence relation. F7 is equal to 7 minus 1 that is F6 plus 7 minus 2 that is F5. F6 value is 8 plus F5 value is 5. 8 plus 5 that is equal to 13. Okay. Next term in the sequence is F8 where n is equal to 8. Substitute n is equal to 8 in the above recurrence relation. F8 is equal to 8 minus 1 that is F7 plus 8 minus 2 that is F6. So F7 plus F6. F7 value is 13 and F6 value is 8. 13 plus 8 that is equal to 21. Okay. Next term in the sequence is F9. So F9 where n is equal to 9. How we are getting the previous terms? The previous two terms can be obtained by substituting n is equal to 9 in the above recurrence relation. F9 is equal to 9 minus 1 that is F8 plus 9 minus 2 that is F7. So here previous term values F8 value is 21. F7 value is a 13, 21 plus 13 that is equal to 34. In the same way, we are finding out the next terms in the sequence as a function of the previous terms recursively. Okay, so then the final nth term that is Fn. Nth term in the Fibonacci sequence is denoted by Fn is equal to so previous term for the nth term is n minus 1 n minus 1 previous term is n minus 2 so f n is equal to f sub x n minus 1 plus f sub x n minus 2 comma n greater than or equal to 2 why we are getting why we are using this condition so in the fibonacci sequence recurrence relation the first two terms are given Okay, that is F0 is equal to 0, F1 is equal to 1. So, first two terms are already given. Then we have to find out, find out the, from the second term onwards. So, because of the reason, we are giving N greater than or equal to. Okay, so this is the second order Fibonacci, second order linear recurrence re relation. Okay. So therefore, we obtain the sequence of Fibonacci numbers by using the this recurrence relation with initial conditions. First two terms are initial conditions 0, 1, 0, 1. The next terms as a function of the two previous terms that is 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34. So, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34. 
Okay, so this is the Fibonacci sequence. This sequence can be find out by using this recurrence relation. So hence we can say that this is called as the Fibonacci sequence recurrence relation. Okay, now we go for the definition. According to the according to the example, once we are understanding this example carefully, then we have to define the definition of the recurrence relation. So a recurrence relation is an equation that defines a sequence recursively by using the rule the next term in the sequence as a function of the previous terms with initial conditions are given. So this is the definition. Now we go, we, I am explaining the, this definition. A recurrence relation is an equation. So this is an a Fibonacci sequence recurrence relation. So this is an equation that recursively defines a sequence. Okay, by using this recur uh, recurrence relation, we have to find out the Fibonacci sequence by using the uh, recursion. Okay, based on a rule, that gives the next term in the sequence as a function of the previous terms. So here the initial terms are f0 is equal to 0, f1 is equal to 1. The next terms in the sequence are f2, f3, f4, f5, f6, f7, f8, f9 up to fn. These next terms are defined as a function of the previous terms f2 previous terms are f1 and f0, f3 previous terms are f2 and f1, f4 previous terms are f3, f2 and f5 previous terms are f4, f3, f6 previous terms are f5, f4, f7 previous terms are f6, f5, f8 previous terms are f7 and f6, f9 previous terms are f8 and f7 in the same way f sub x n previous terms are f sub x n minus 1 plus f sub x n minus 2 by using this previous terms we have to find out the next immediate term in the sequence okay the next immediate term in the sequence can be defined as a function of the two previous terms. Okay, in this example, we are concentrate on two previous terms. But according to the definition, the next term in the sequence as a function of the previous terms. Okay, this previous terms depends on the order. In the first order recurrence relation, okay, it depends on only one previous term. The second order linear recurrence relation, so the next term depends on two previous terms. The third order linear recurrence relation depends on the three previous terms. Based on the order, these previous terms are uh, considered. Okay, when one or more initial conditions are given. For the first order linear recurrence relation, one initial condition is given. For the second order linear recurrence relation, two initial conditions are given. So this is the second order linear recurrence relation, two initial conditions are given. When the third order linear recurrence relation, three initial conditions are given. So this is must and should be necessary for considering the initial terms in the sequence when we are taking either first order or second order and third order linear recurrence relation. So this is the explanation of the uh, definition of recurrence relation with Fibonacci sequence linear recurrence relation. Okay, so I am summarizing the definition. A Fibona, uh, a recurrence relation is an equation that defines a sequence recursively based on a rule the next term in the sequence as a function of the previous terms when one or more initial conditions are given.
Okay, if it is a first order linear recurrence relation, it depends on only one previous term with the one initial condition. While considering the second order linear recurrence relation, the next term uh, in the sequence uh, depends on only two previous terms with the two initial conditions. While considering the third order linear recurrence relation, the next term in the sequence can be, def can be defined based on three previous terms with the three initial conditions. Okay, so this is the example of uh, recurrence relation and this is the definition of the recurrence relation. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. So, develop Srinivasarao.